membrane on the Zero Cure system. Uh, so I thought today it'd be well overdue a video showing you exactly how to do that. Do take in mind, I have the original Zero Pure. This was a prototype, which is going on six years now. So actually, finally, it's time to change the RO membrane on it. Now, take it that I'm in a area with very soft water uh, and run RO mode only, but it's finally time to change it. We need the video, so I thought I would do it now and show you. Also consider that the unit that you may have may be a little different on the top here. We've upgraded in the last year the cap. The new cap now is actually flat on the top. It has a 90 degree John Guest push fitting with a half inch hose. The original one here was different, had a 90 degree, but a brass with a clamp dome uh, half inch hose. So you notice that, you know, the difference. Please keep that whenever you're watching this video in consideration that yours may look a little different, but it's basically the same concept. So first thing you're gonna need is some tools. I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna need to change this. I always have the scrim, my hands for wiping. Definitely. A rubber mallet is a definitely a necessary thing to have. If you don't have one, you can get these, you know, Lowe's, Home Depot. I have two sets of pliers. I have some smaller pliers and then some larger, just basic pliers. And the fittings on the cap that hold the ring on the cap are 9 16 So I have a 9 16 uh, wrench here and a crescent wrench. You could have two of these or two of these. They both would work, but 9 16 is the size on this one. I don't think they've changed it on the stainless steel housings. So the first challenge that you come upon is, in your, your case, if you have the newer, you would just press in the John Guest fitting, pull your half inch hose out. You hold the ringlet back and pull the hose out, okay? You've got to get the cap off. It's not going to be easy. I'll just be honest with you. These are under pressure. They seal. So it does take a little patience to get these off. A couple of things that I've found that helps is the rubber mallet. And if you'll go around and tap this cap, loosen it up, just tap it. You know, I always tap on the side, not down, because I'm wanting it comes out, so I don't want to press it down anymore. So that'll help break it up. Then I like to take a flat head nose. You can see that's got a flat head. Now, if you have the newer version, it's not going to have, it's not going to look like this cap. Okay, this cap has two rings that stay on the outside. So it has this gap in between here. And you can see in here, this is the part that goes down in the cylinder and you have O-rings in both of these. What I'll do is I'll take that blunt end, I'll put it between the rings and then tap up all the way around. You don't have to hit hard, just tap all the way around slowly moving it up evenly all the way around to get it out the top, okay? Now, I'm gonna tell you, I took it off first and it took me about 15 minutes. This one I already took off, so that's why it came out so easy. So, like I said, be patient with it to get it off. Once you have the cap off, you know, lay it to the side. Okay, so the new membrane has nipples on both ends, okay? And the brine seal on this one is black, but it's at the top, okay? It's at the top. So I know this goes up. Slides right down in there just to gravity weight. Puts it down in there. 
Now, where your next challenge comes is where you're going to need your rubber mallet is getting your um, cap back on because it's going to be a tight fit. I'm going to take the magic lube and, and lube these um, O-rings around here. why you need to scrim. <laughs> All right, then put the cap back on. Yours won't have a hose attached to it if you have the newer one. If you have the older model, it'll have the hose. <laughs> you want to line it up and get it as flat, you know, as even as possible so it pushes down in even on all sides. Then just take your mallet and tap around the edges to get it to go back down evenly. Take your time on this one. This is again taking the cap off and the cap back on is the hardest part of this whole procedure. <laughs> I want to make sure that in this model that the stainless steel lip touches the cap evenly all the way around. See, now it's even all the way around, touching the rim of the stainless steel, because what holds this cap on is this ring, which I didn't tell you, I didn't show you guys, you're gonna take it off, but this ring is what holds this cap on, so it has to grip the top, and then it grips the lip, and that's what keeps the cap on. If you just unloosen one side of it, you'll have to loosen both sides enough to, to slide it off. If you store it, you can just slide it down and put the screw back in. Then you want to make sure that it fits in that groove. Okay, it's between the, I'll show you in a minute on the cap, but there's a lip on this. And there's a lip on this and it has to overlap one on the top one on the bottom so it pitches it. So now I've got it, I'll just hand tighten it. There we go. Then I'll take my 9 16 wrench and my crescent wrench. The steel lip touches the cap evenly all the way around. See, now it's even all the way around, touching the rim of the stainless steel, because what holds this cap on is this ring, which I didn't tell you, I didn't show you guys, you are gonna take it off, but this ring is what holds this cap on, so it has to grip the top, and then it grips the lip, and that's what keeps the cap on. If you just unloosen one side of it, you'll have to loosen both sides enough to, to slide it off. If you store it, you can just slide it down and put the screw back in. Then you want to make sure that it fits in that groove. Okay, it's between the, I'll show you in a minute on the cap, but there's a lip on this. There's a lip on this, and it has to overlap one on the top, one on the bottom, so it pitches it. 
So now I've got it, I'll just hand tighten it. There we go. Then I'll take my 9 16 wrench and my crescent wrench. I'll tighten it back. to both sides close completely and touch. That way I know I've got a good seal because you don't want this, you don't want the cap to blow off when it gets pressure under it. So snug both of those up. So all back together. Now your system's ready to go. The other thing, the point that's very important when you get a new RO membrane, you want it to absolutely run in the RO mode only. And I say RO mode only is do not connect the hose from your stainless steel filter to your gray DI canister on the front. Leave it disconnected run this about an hour in RO mode only. Get it good and saturated. That way you make sure that you get the um, proper water flow. That membrane has to get good and saturated. Uh, a lot of people just take these things, go to the job and start using them. They'll call us up and go, oh, I'm not getting any water pressure. You always have to tell them, you want to do this the day before or week before get it good and saturated so the water will flow through. Okay, I hope that's going to be real helpful going forward. Sorry for the jet. I live by an Air Force base. We've got fighter jets in today for some reason. But um, I hope this will be very helpful in the future when you change your RO membrane, whether it's a Hydro Cart, a Zero Pure, or Tucker RODI. Pretty much the same principle in all of them. So thank you very much. Have a great day.